Tonight, we investigate a growing glut of derelict cars now littering St. Louis. Fox 2's Andy Banker finds damaged, unlicensed vehicles left in the Central West End, racking up thousands of dollars in parking tickets without being towed. We're on Clara near Del Mar. We saw this red car here two weeks ago in the exact same spot. It hasn't moved. Residents say it's been here for at least a month. The city has finally marked it for towing, but that was last Thursday, and here it sits. Along with that red Chevy car, there was this red and black Chevy truck, this little yellow Fiat, and this silver Kia, all left sitting in the same spots for more than a month, with either expired plates or no plates at all. City records show the Kia has been sitting across from the Chess Hall of Fame since January 9th, racking up tickets. That pickup truck was left on Newstead since February 26th. The city did not tow it, but someone has finally moved it. The yellow Fiat was sitting on Whittier since January 17th. The city has finally towed this one to its overcrowded tow yard. A city spokesman says the yard is at full capacity and the staff of tow truck drivers is short by half, six instead of 12. The city has increased pay by 15%, hoping to recruit more drivers. It was at the corner, just down the street. Harold Carabell says he's seen derelict cars on streets here for six months or more. As a neighborhood association president, people let him know about it. He notifies city officials and appreciates their efforts in tough times, but hopes towing becomes more of a priority. Some people think, well, they don't care about the broken window. They don't care about the abandoned car. We'll do anything we want in this neighborhood. And then a small problem escalates into something much, much larger. Tow workers say they've recently stepped up the sale of unclaimed vehicles at auction, freeing up space in the city yard. And crews have knocked the list of 800 derelict vehicles citywide down to about 600 in just the past 30 days. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.